My name is Megan Fuke. I'm a water quality analyst at Lock Clean Water Alliance. I work in the water quality laboratory here and I've been here for about nine years. I work on all the different parts of the wastewater treatment process. I make sure that um, our process is running correctly by analyzing different samples and also that we're meeting our Department of Ecology permit requirements. A typical day for me begins early in the morning at 6 a.m. I come in and there are already wastewater samples waiting for me in the fridge from operations. I process those samples using chemical and physical analyses. I run nutrients on them, things like that. Later in the morning, I get another set of wastewater samples from operations um, and process those as well. Uh, once a week or so, I will also take a look at our microbes underneath the microscope, which is pretty cool. And then after noon, after lunch, I'm usually finishing up whatever I haven't finished in the morning, uh, running different analyses, working on special projects, and setting everything up for the next day to do it all over again. Something that's really cool about my job is that I work with microbes. Microbes are what treat our wastewater. It's what we use. It's what we're supporting out there to you know, do our job. Um, and microbes, I get to look at under the scope a whole bunch. And they give a lot of clues about the health of our process. Um, you look under the scope to look not just at what individual microbes are there, but also what the overall health looks like. Are they healthy? Are they eating? Are they moving around? Do they look lethargic? Do they look like some sort of toxin has, has affected them? Do they look like they have enough oxygen? You can tell a lot by uh, what is going on under the microscope. But even with looking under the microscope, about 99% of what is in that um, biomass is bacterial. I can't necessarily see what is going on with bacteria, even with my microscope, which I look at, at its highest power is a thousand uh, times magnification. So one of the things I think is really cool is not a whole lot is known about these bacteria. So genetic testing has become a huge thing in for the future of, of wastewater. Um, Things like metagenomics, which is the study of the, the genetic community that's out in wastewater, there's not a lot known and there's a lot to be learned. And so since there's always something to be learned, there's always something new out uh, to be read about or to be learned about. And that's really cool. I was inspired to work in wastewater because I find it to be a really interesting problem. There's only ever more waste. There's only ever more wastewater. And how do you deal with waste and wastewater in growing populations? How do you deal with it with humanity? It's a, a big problem facing humanity. Um, and I find that fascinating to be able to try and be part of a solution. And really with some of the technologies that are coming out dealing with wastewater, how to make it not only more efficient, but produce things like fertilizer, to produce things like energy. Um, you know, it's really a way that we can confront something as big as climate change. And I, that just really inspires me. When I was growing up, I was always into science and biology. I always loved um, doing experiments. When I was five or six, I got my first microscope. When I was nine or 10, I got my, my first telescope. In high school, I wound up getting an internship to Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in a yeast lab. Um, after that, I went to college at UW Seattle in, and I got a um, BS in biology. I worked in an E. coli lab while I was there as a lab assistant doing work for grad students. So doing uh, washing and sterilizing and making sure things were prepped for grad students. After college, I got a job in a bioassay toxicology lab. Uh, we did testing for 
uh, wastewater effluent there. So wastewater discharges, people who had Department of Ecology permits. And there I actually put um, things like fish and shrimp and um, water fleas into that water to see uh, if they would survive in it. And so that's a way to confirm that uh, it would be healthy for um, um, animals. After that, I actually came to LOT and I started at LOT in 2012 as a laboratory technician and I worked my way up to a water quality analyst and eventually uh, gained my group four wastewater operator certification as well. And here I am. <laughs>